How to make spinners the easy way. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Android Pre-K Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic application with a simple spinner in it, and the, sp and the spinner is going to have some selectable text inside of it. That way, your application should look something like this. When we're done, it's going to be a basic application with a spinner inside. And when you click on your spinner, it should start up eventually. <laughs> it's going to display a prompt, and then inside your spinner is going to have some entries inside. And you can see you can scroll through your list of entries right here. You can also select an entry, and then your entry is going to populate the spinner right here. Um, it's not going to do anything right now. All it's going to do is basically what I showed you. You click on the spinner, list of entries pop up, and then you can select it, and then you can see your, um, your selection right here inside the spinner. All right, cool. Let's get into it. First, what you need to do is open up Eclipse if you haven't already, and then you need to open up your main XML file and your strings XML file. Those are the files we're going to be working with. Um, if you haven't done that already, go do it. Pause the video. Come back when you're ready. All right, first what we need to do is you need to go over to your strings XML file, and we need to set up a string and a string array for the spinner to use. First, what we need to do is once you um open up your string XML file, you should be looking at your um, resources view right here. All right, what we need the first what we first need to do is go over to add, and we need to add a string. You can double click on it or press OK. And we need to set this string. We're going to set this for the tutorial. We're going to set the name of the string to prompt. And inside the prompt, now see the prompt is the title. And so when you um, open up the spinner, when your user opens up the spinner, what do you want the title to be? The title is going to be the prompt. What do you want them to do? Well, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to set mine to pick your favorite because my spinner is going to be on um, my favorite shows like you just seen in that little basic app right there so I'm going to say pick your favorite alright come and save it now you can see we have a string named prompt and if you click on the um, you change it to the code view you switch to the code view you can see we have a string named prompt with the value inside of it pick your favorite the title is going to be the prompt and the, the title is going to display whatever you set the, um, the value to be inside the resource. Now what we need to do is add a string array. And the string array is going to hold the items which are going to be the entries for the spinner. So you just come over to add. You could have just typed it in the code view if you wanted to. But we're going to make it a string array inside of this view right here. And what we need to do is we need to name our string array because we're going to name, we're going to um, reference all of these. We're going to reference the string array inside the inside the entries attribute inside the spinner it'll make sense but we just need to name it right now and we're gonna name this entries you can name it whatever you want but for the tutorial just so we know um, we can reference just so we can reference it we're gonna name the entries okay cool now to add your entries or add your items that are gonna be the entries inside your string array you can right click on the string array right here and just go down to add and you'll add an item. You could have also came over here to add and you can add the item and you can see right here when we first added our string and our string array we wanted to create a new element top level in the resources but once you select one of the resources you can add items to it if you have like a string array. If you have arrays you can add items to it and you can see it says create a new element in the selected element entries and string array. So whatever your own um, name of your array is, it would be right here. But since we named ours entries, that's why it says entries right there. And you could click um, item right there and add your item. But we already added one, and I'm gonna show you an easy way to get more. You could keep adding them that way if you want to. But me, since I hate typing and I'm kind of lazy, I'm just gonna show you the easiest way to do it. So all we, all I just did was I just highlighted the items from the open bracket to the close bracket I copy and paste control C you can also right click and go down to copy 
and I just um just cursor out, enter down, and we're just gonna paste. Gonna enter down and then control paste. Control on V paste. And you can see our items are populating inside of the string array. If you come back over to the resources view, we can see we're getting more items. But right now, all of our items are blank. They don't hold any values because we're just adding items in because I don't like to type. And I'm going to show you why this is easy right here. So you can just keep doing this as much as you want and um, just add all of the values that you want. And then if you don't use any, just delete the um, extra excess. All right, cool. What we do is once you have all your items and you're ready to import your values, what we need to do is um, select cursor, put your cursor in between the closing bracket and the open bracket. Then we need to put whatever text we want. So we're going to put Futurama. Go down to the next one and just keep adding in your values right there. And just keep going down. Just put your cursor in between the items. And all of these are now items that will display text right now. We need to put some text for the other items that are going to be the entries. And these are all the entries that we're adding right now. So what we can do is we could do Simpsons, The Cleveland Show. We'll go down to Boondocks. As you can see, I seriously hate typing. Oh, this is my favorite right here, Archer. Robot Chicken. And then last and not least, South Park. You can make it a list, whatever you want. And you can see we now have our string array named entries full of items that are going to be the entries. And we have all these blank ones down here. Since we don't need these, you can just come and select all of it, highlight it, delete it. Now we have our string array, our prompt. We have our items that are going to be the entries. We have everything set up inside the strings XML that we need. So what we're going to do is we're just going to save this because we have everything set up the way we need it. If you come over to the resources view, you can see now all of our items now have values that we set to the text, which are the name of the shows that we want. What did I set up for this tutorial? You could put whatever you want in there, city capitals and stuff like that, or like state capitals and stuff like that if you want. But now we need to add the attributes for the spinner well first what we need to do is once you open up your application you'll probably have the hello world text there you can leave it there delete it I deleted mine because I don't need it for this tutorial all we're worried about is this spinner so we need to come over to um, palette form widgets and drop a spinner inside the application or inside the layout which is going to be our application and you can see the um, spinner on default, by default, spinner just um, matches the width of the um, the layout. So that's what we want. That's cool with us. Double click on it. It'll take you over to the code view. We'll clean this up real quick. Cursor in front of the attribute. Tab over. Enter down. And you can clean up the rest like that. All right, cool. See, we have a spinner. ID is spinner one. You don't need to worry about any of that. We need to add two attributes inside of here. The first attribute is going to be Android. Since we're inside of a spinner, we get the spinner hints. And the first one we need to set up is the prompt, which is going to be the title for our spinner. All right, cool. We're going to set this to, because we have our prompt inside of a string XML file. It's the string resource that we're going to reference is the one called prompt. Yes, that was too easy to see if you could guess that. All right, because what we're going to do is we're going to set the prompt to the prompt string. So that's why we set it to the prompt string. That's what we're referencing. And it's going to set the text to whatever we have inside that string. 
enter down and we need to add one more attribute since we're inside the string but since we're inside the spinner we get spinner hints and the next one is the entries what resource are we going to reference for the entries well we're going to reference the string array and because we have all our items we have all our entries which are the items inside of a string array so we set it to reference the string array but what string array the one that we named entries so all of the items inside the string array named entries are going to be the entries for our spinner all right we have everything set up that's all we need to do and now what we need to do is we need to send it to the debug our emulator so you go and set up a debug configuration if you haven't already get yourself an emulator going on but I already have mine it will send it to our our debug right now I'm gonna tab over and you can see our application is gonna restart with the properties that we just set alright cool now the application is about to start up you can see it sets the um, content view to whatever we have inside the um, Java and we have our we have a spinner inside of our layout and once we click on our spinner you can see it fill it populates with the first entry inside the um string array that we set up for the entries but you can see when we pop up this is our um title right here the prompt when it pops up it'll show you the title the prompt whatever text you set up you reference for that string is going to be inside of here so you can see it says pick your favorite and now a list of shows that we just put in here all of our items became the entries inside the spinner that's what I was showing you before all of the items which are the entries which are the entries inside the string array are going to be the entries in the spinner and you can see it's also um, scrollable you can scroll down depending on how many you have and stuff like that if you have this on your hardware device it'll definitely um, be way faster and stuff like that but you can see that you can select any one that you want based on your selection is what will populate inside of the um, spinner and you can add more functionality to it if you want inside of Java but for right now all we need to do is just set up the um, set up the entries inside the spinner that way you get a basic spinner going on and um, you can check out the developer pages to um, add more functionality but I know it was kinda hard for me to get one set up but to figure out the easy way to do it and I just found the easiest way to do it so I figured I'd make a tutorial that way you can at least get something basic going on and see what it looks like congratulations you just learned how to make a spinner and uh, if you like the tutorial if it helped you in any way um, you can see yourself making a whole application of nothing but spinners, whole bunch of items and entries and string arrays, and just get crazy and expand with it. Um, leave some comments and stuff like that. Uh, leave as much feedback as you can. Share this on the Facebook page, on your Twitter. Um, definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, definitely add me as a friend on the YouTube. That way you can stay updated. And also catch us on our Facebook page, the Android Pre-K Facebook page. That way you can learn how to um, get more applications going on. Basically learning the basics from someone who just learned the basics himself. Alright, catch you in the next tutorial. One.